Hi. I'm here with my good friend Mats Frånlund. We're going to talk about uh, speaker doping and how that affects the sound of the speaker. So Mats, can you explain to the viewers what is the purpose of speaker doping? Uh, yes, this speaker is, as you may maybe can see, this is totally undoped. And here we have exactly the same speaker which is doped. I've done it myself. And um, the, the doping strengthen the edge of the speaker and um, it changes the sound at the same mm. time. So that's what we're yeah. going to compare today. Interesting. So we'll make a shootout. Cheers. <laughs>
that's that. Um, well, it's obvious that they've been brought away some of the harmonic content, uh, especially in the upper mids, uh, but in a good way, I think. Uh, the Rock Driver is maybe not my favorite speaker, it's not super exciting, uh, but the doping gave it a, a nasal character, kind of like the uh, heavy magnet bass cone greenback. Which I love. Uh, it brought away some of the upper mid, so so uh, some uh, some solos may lose some of the uh, harmonic content to to hold it up. Uh, but I think it sounded much better in the uh, in the uh, rhythm guitar parts. Um, much used liquid tape. Uh, to do this, uh, I've seen on, on discussions uh, on forums that uh, other guys has used it too. Some with good results and, and some with not so good results. But uh, I think it worked here. So, what did you think? Which one do you like best? Tell me. Cheers. <laughs>